Hi, I'm Dr. Rajani Kata, and I write a lot about skin-saving foods and why they're so important for our skin and our health. And one of the things I wanted to do was just talk about the Instant Pot and dried beans. So the Instant Pot is a kitchen appliance, and I do not like learning new kitchen appliances, but I have to say, this one, once you learn a few basic features, was really easy to use. And one of the reasons I wanted to focus on cooking dried beans is because beans are fantastic for your health. And the nice thing about cooking dried beans is that they are, they last for forever in the pantry, they're inexpensive, you don't have to worry about opening up cans, and then you don't have to worry about any preservatives or chemicals. Um, these are pretty natural. So you start with your dried beans, and when you're cooking in the Instant Pot, one of the one of the reasons people like the Instant Pot is because it's called a multi-cooker. It has a lot of different functions, but I'm just going to talk about the pressure cooker function today. And one of the nice things when you're pressure cooking is that it's all pretty much hands-off. So just to do a quick run-through of what we're going to talk about, there are four basic steps to pressure cooking, and each step is less than a minute of hands-on time. So the first step is just getting your Instant Pot ready. The second step is just pushing the buttons and doing your settings. The third step is very hands-off. That's when the pot does its pressure building and its pressure cooking. And then the fourth stage is what we call a release of pressure. And there's either a natural release or a quick release. So for this recipe, we're going to cook dried chickpeas and you need for this recipe, I'm doing two cups of dried chickpeas, and that's about equivalent to a pound. And it's a one to three ratio, so we're doing, if you have one cup of dried beans, you're gonna do three cups of liquid. In this case, I've got two cups of dried beans, six cups of water. Now, there are a lot of variations on this basic recipe, so you can add salt, you can add uh, aromatics, you could add other types of liquid. I'm doing it as plain as possible. So we're just doing the beans and the water, and you can do your variations afterwards. And basically, two cups of beans, six cups of water, high pressure for 30 minutes. So in order to use your Instant Pot, I said there are four main steps. Stage one is getting your pot ready. So let's do that. So for stage one, I mean, the first two steps are really simple. You're just gonna plug it in. And then the second part of this is, uh, let's take out our different pieces here. We've got a lid, we've got a gasket, we've got our stainless steel pot that's our insert. So we're just gonna add our ingredients directly to the stainless steel pot. Beans. Water. Now, the next stage, or the next part of this is three steps, and you can't forget any one of these three steps. These are incredibly important three steps. The first is that your gasket has to go in the lid. And the reason this is so important is because you're pressure cooking, so you need a really tight seal. So, even though this is so important, it's remarkable to me how this step doesn't really seem like much. But basically, you're just gonna put your gasket and you are going to just insert it in the grid. There's sort of a grid here on the underside of the lid and you're just going to push it in to that underside. There's no special click or anything like that. You just push it into place and that's it. So that's your first step. The second step is to put the lid on and make sure it seals. So I'm gonna show you, I'm just calling this an outcropping and I'm calling this a ledge. And all you're gonna do is you're going to insert that little outcropping into that ledge and then you're going to rotate it in place and you're going to hear that um, that noise that tells you you're in place and then um, let me get a close-up for the next step this next item is really important but it's also really simple you can see right now the lever is pointed to venting all you have to do is just point it to ceiling now I thought that this was such an important step that there would be a click or something but it just sort of toggles really easily between venting and sealing. So just make sure you're on sealing. 
So now we're in step two, which is doing your settings. And that just really means pushing your buttons. So what we're gonna do is do a manual setting. And then you're going to make sure that you're on high pressure. And then you're going to adjust your time based on these buttons right here. And then you're just going to give it a minute. So right now we've got manual, high pressure, 35 minutes. And if you just give it a minute, it'll start to say on. Now what this means is that it's heating and it's building up pressure inside. The 35 minutes is just based on your recipe. So for this recipe, we were doing chickpeas and I like 35 minutes at high pressure with a natural release. It gives a consistency that I like. Some recipes might call for more time. It really just depends on your particular recipe. So now we're just going to have to wait a few minutes for the pressure to continue building. And now we're in step three, which is pressure building and pressure cooking. So right now it says on, which indicates that it's heating and the pressure is building inside. When the pressure gets to the right amount, it will switch to a countdown timer. So you'll see 35 counting all the way down to zero, and that will be your pressure cooking. So this step is pressure building, followed by pressure cooking, and it's completely hands-off. This is where your Instant Pot is doing all the work. So our timer just ended. It counted down from 30 to one and now to zero. And because we're doing a natural release, we don't actually have to do anything at this point. We're just gonna let it sit by itself. If you needed to do a quick release, or if your recipe told you to do a quick release, you can see here the lever that says sealing. And we're just going to take our oven mitt and turn it to venting. And what I'm gonna do is step back a little bit because you're gonna see this quick burst of hot steam. And that is what we call a quick release. You can see all of that steam releasing. All right, so now we're gonna rotate the lid and lift up. And you can see our chickpeas. Let me just pull one out here. And voila.